Hello and welcome to my first Photoshop quick tip tutorial. This week we're going to focus on changing a colour to black. Now there's lots of tutorials online showing you how you change a colour like red to green or something along those lines. So what I'm going to show you is how to change a colour from that to black which you don't see too often. This image here is of my friend Andy Gregson pulling off his little action man pose. Uh, I created this image for Festa Verlag which is a German book publisher and they used it on a book called Shooter which uh, is now a film with Mark Wahlberg in it so I was quite happy with that. So I'm just going to Photoshop now. So this is the final image so if I just click down the layers slowly you'll see it. The effects disappear. Kind of dodge and burn. A few plugins here. This is an old workflow, so I don't really work like this anymore. So it's quite a little bit messy. Turn off the fire. There we go. So now we've got to be done. So basically, what what I've done here is I've created a group with a hue saturation adjustment layer in and a levels adjustment layer and I've done the adjustments and then because it's in a group I've added a mask to the group and then masked it out so we just go through turn them off so as you can see this is what the gun lo looked like originally so that's with the hue saturation then with the levels and then with the curves matching the colour in a little bit so it fixes the suits the image more. So what I'll do is I'll move on to this image and I'll show you how to do it from scratch. So we've got the image here of Andy and the mask so is masked out of his original background. So first of all what we want to do is create a hue saturation adjustment layer and create a levels adjustment so what you want to do is with levels selected hold down shift click on hue saturation right click go up to group from layers call this I don't know gun black so they're now in a group and we'll put a mask on that so first of all go to your hue saturation layer. Now basically all you need to do on this layer is just pull your saturation right down so you're taking the orange out. It will affect the whole image but for now just concentrate on the orange of the gun. So that's this bit here, totally desaturated. Now we want to add the blackening, the darkening in. So levels get your contrast slider on your levels just slide it to the right say about there and then bring your white point in now what we want to do is once you've done that is go up to your group layer Go onto your layer mask, control I to inverse. Then make sure on the brush tool, select white as your foreground colour. And slowly, let's see what brush we've got. A soft brush. And then just brush it in. Obviously, I'm doing it quickly here, so when you do it, you want to spend a little more time on it. So so we use the pen tool to mask it out properly. So we just brush on over the over the orange.
shoddy up a little bit. Let's go over the edge. So now you've got the the tone of the gun pretty much how you want it. You can still see the detail in it. Uh, it's looking quite good so far, but as you can tell, it doesn't really fit in with the colours of his jacket and the surrounding colours. There's a bit of an orange tint to it. So all you need to do to counteract this is still inside your group, create a curves adjustment, and we'll go to blue just add a, pull it to the left a little bit add a little bit of blue in there and then go up to your color select here and go up to your green channel again just pull it to the left slightly so click that off and on that's matching up a lot better and as you can tell, it blends a lot better into the surroundings. So I'll just close that group now. I click it off. That's without any of the adjustments. Obviously, it looks ridiculous with a big orange gun sticking out. Turn it on with the quick adjustments that I've just done, and it fits right in. Obviously, if you're going to do this, take the time to mask out the gun correctly. I only did it this sloppy just because I wanted to show you quickly in this tutorial how to do it so always take your time with these things the more you rush the more you're gonna make mistakes and I found that out myself so I always now try to slow things down uh, sometimes I'll go far away from the computer come back look at it with fresh eyes so yeah just take, just take your time also if you was worried about the orange reflection on his hand you could pretty much get rid of that the same way by uh, using curves or there's, there's various ways you could do it or an even easier way would be to I'll just show you I'll stick a hue saturation adjustment layer at the top so just click on the little hand with the two arrows at the side of the finger zoom into the image here and your little I think eyedropper I think it's called the eyedropper teat <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called uh, you just click it on his hand in one of the more saturated parts of the reflection I'd say that there keep it clicked with the hand on your finger still on the on the uh, mouse just slowly slide your mouse to the left and as you can see it's slowly desaturating the hand so if you keep your eyes on the orange pretty much here at minus 80 the orange has disappeared so zoom back out again but as you can see it's uh, desaturated all his, all his skin and quite a lot of the, the reds and oranges from you so just click on your layer mask on that adjustment layer press control hold down control press I to switch the layer mask make sure you've got a soft brush Zoom back in a little bit. Uh, make sure your brush is set to white. We'll put the floor to about 30%, and slowly just paint out the orange, like so. Let me zoom out. Click that off and on. That's with the orange reflection. That's without. Looks a lot better. So that's basically it for this week's tip. Short and simple. Uh, anyone can do this. Obviously, after doing this the first time round, the next time I did another image similar to this, I bought a new toy gun, airsoft gun, which was paint, which was a uh, bright orange, but. Instead of messing around in Photoshop, I just decided to buy some matte black spray from Amazon for about six quid and just sprayed the gun myself. Uh, it saved a bit of work in Photoshop afterwards. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll be back next week with another short Photoshop quick tip tutorial.